Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Laffy Tunes. Here are 10 fan favorite Steven Universe characters. Number 10, Lion. Lion doesn't speak a lot, and his devotion to Steven is obvious to everyone around. However, for the most part, he spends his time acting like a domestic cat, which is just hilarious to watch, considering the size of his body and, more importantly, Jaws. Lion runs after butterflies and other shiny objects, plays with his tail, and does a whole range of cute things in the background while the show goes on. Number 9, Lars. Lars starts off as crude and malicious, but Steven doesn't seem to mind his harsh words at all. Besides, it's later explained that he only pretends to be mean because he didn't want others to notice his insecurities. As such, Lars sometimes finds himself in embarrassing situations that are often quite funny. It's especially great to see him act all cocky and overconfident about something, only to be brought down a couple of pegs. Number 8, Pearl. Pearl is not necessarily a funny character in a direct sense, but the various aspects of her personality, unnecessary sophistry, and extremely specified demands combined with her easily bewildered sensibilities when things don't go according to the vision in her head, creating some choice moments of comedy. Generally, however, Pearl is far too serious to play around with the others, but her insistence on protocol is occasionally a bit too much. Still, this also forms part of the whimsy she exhibits. Number 7, Greg. Greg is a compassionate man who loves nothing more than his son, but his borderline childishness is played for last. His favorite motto, if every pork chop were perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs, is meaningless, but the way it's phrased is rather hilarious from an absurdist perspective. Greg is the prototypical goofy dad. The best thing about him is that he rarely seems to care what others think about him or his character. The only thing that matters to him is maintaining a close relationship with Steven. Number 6, Smoky Quartz. The fusion of Amethyst and Steven is the adorable Smoky Quartz, whose playful nature is derived from a blend of their original components. The interesting thing is that they don't find it odd to make humorous observations during combat, and their cheerfulness is so overwhelming that it helps bring back some of Amethyst's self-esteem. Smoky Quartz's jokes are at times made at their own expense, like referring to themselves as one big super wrong good for nothing dub with a yo-yo, which is not as depressing as it sounds really. Number 5, Peridot. Although Peridot's introduction cements her as a scheming villain, the image is broken down over the course of her time on Earth. Living with the Crystal Gems, a large fraction of her comedy, to be honest, is obtained from her manic tendencies towards overreaction and hyperbole. Peridot, being a highly patriotic citizen of Homeworld, refuses to learn human culture, which results in her completely misreading references, jokes, idioms, and so on. Further, her immense knowledge about engineering is diluted by the fact of her belief that Earth consists of a new variety of species known as Steven. Number 4, Ronaldo. Ronaldo's aim in life is to keep Beach City weird, a blog that by itself is one of the most amusing things in Steven Universe. He plays the role of a sweet but naive teenager who loves everything about conspiracy theories. Unfortunately for him, his deductions are regularly off base, like when he suspects that Steven might be pregnant or that he might be some kind of serpent-human hybrid. There is no logical grounding to Ronaldo's theories, but rather than seeming like a total crackpot, he comes off as this kooky comic relief character. Number 3. Steven Universe. Steven is quite funny himself. One of these scenarios is which his trait of his emerges is when he begs, pleads, cajoles Pearl and Amethyst to become Opal, even making a brilliantly ludicrous song about wanting to see a giant woman. In fact, Steven constantly laughs at any cute lyrics to express his desires and any immaturity he demonstrates is usually resolved with him learning something important, albeit in a very entertaining manner. Number 2. Pad Periska. The innocent Pad Periska is an off-color sapphire whose powers are the exact opposite compared to those of her kind. In short, she predicts the past rather than the future, which is mostly useless in a battle situation. The funny thing about her is that she is constantly stunned by her own forecast and plan that she might actually experience the passage of time in a different way than everyone else. Interestingly, however, Parapodasha has made a few predictions that have been helpful. Number 1, Amethyst. The most hilarious character in the series is arguably Amethyst, whose complete lack of interest in the concept of seriousness is both amusing to behold as well as an occasional hindrance during Crystal Gem quests. Her antics always make Steven laugh and even brings Garnet into snicker mode, but Pearl, however, is often vexed by her inability to keep things in perspective. Amethyst's purple puma wrestling alter ego is uproariously absurd, not to mention how much she enjoys playing tricks on her friends. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.